temperatures and humidity sticking around this week, paramedics have some advice to keep you and family members safe. Madeline O'Neill is here with more on how to best ride this heat wave. Maddie. Well, Amanda, after stopping at the art fair on the square today, there's no denying it's mid-July. You can feel it. Well, it's great to be able to get outside again without worrying about cold and snow. It can be easy to forget the dangers that come from pushing yourself too hard in the heat. It's hot out. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sun's balmy. Surrounded by creativity and imagination. You, you just don't see this everywhere. It takes a dab of those qualities just to stay cool. Backpacks full of water. Mm -hmm. We've got a hat that if it gets if she gets too hot, we'll put the hat on her and get that wet. Especially when it almost feels like the whole state is melting. We got a glass of lemonade and sitting in the shade. While these art fair on the square visitors have it down. It's plenty hot, but you expect it. You know, plenty of sunscreen, plenty of water and um, step into the shade. Paramedics say that's not the case for everyone. Everyone's out here wanting to have fun and, you know, they don't think about taking care of themselves sometimes. Madison Fire Department had two units on site in case of medical emergencies. We've been pretty busy today. Um, Again, a lot of the stuff today has to do with heat-related stuff. With the hot weather expected to continue well beyond this event, paramedics hope everyone will listen up. Uh, Worst-case scenario is you might have to go to the hospital. They say signs of heat exhaustion include fatigue, nausea, double vision, and sweating profusely. A patient stops sweating. Um, that's when they might be having a heat stroke. Paramedics recommend drinking plenty of water and staying out of the heat if possible. Take it easy. Don't push yourself uh, more than, than you can. But with the right precautions. It's necessary to be here and enjoy it. These visitors say the art fair is enough of a draw to brave the heat. Yeah, I think for an hour or two it's worth it. Winter's <laughs> coming. Another thing to keep in mind, it's never a bad idea to check on your neighbors, especially the elderly and those who don't have air conditioning, just to make sure they're okay this week. Definitely some good things to keep in mind. Thank you so much, Maddie. Let's